The first thing to do when you're getting ready to climb is put on your harness. This harness is a rock climbing harness and it has two hard points so the belay loop never comes separated from the waist belt. Simply tighten the waist belt as the manufacturer specifies. Make sure that it's fed through the buckle the right number of times. Ensure that you have no twists in your leg loops and that they're fully fastened. Another kind of harness is an alpine harness. This particular harness has a separate waist belt which can be detached from the belay loop. So when putting this kind of harness on, you want to start with the leg loops. Make sure they're not twisted. Thread the belt through the belay loop. And then make sure it's doubled back. Step two is to clip your large locking carabiner through your belay loop. In position, retrieve the rope and safely measure out enough slack to tie a figure eight at the appropriate spot for your tie-in. Feed the end of the rope through both hard points and cinch the knot. Finally, retrace the knot with the end of the rope. Use a barrel knot to secure the end. Clean up the knot so that you can count every strand and count two, four, six, eight, ten. In the middle position, you'll be tying a butterfly knot. Take the rope and wrap it around your hand three times. Then take the outermost strand, move it to the middle, and then take the next outermost and wrap it all the way through. When you pull the rope tight, it should not slip. Clip the butterfly knot onto your locking carabiner and press the gate to make sure it's locked. Take your personal anchor and find the loop that is not part of a chain. Thread it through the two hard points of your harness, and then take the chain loops and feed them back through to make a girth hitch and cinch it tight. Add one locking and one non-locking carabiner to chain loops. Then, pull the loops around behind your back and fasten them on a gear loop. Take your chest harness, stretch it out, twist it once to make an X in the back, and feed it through your shoulders. Take a non-locking carabiner and bind each edge together. Put your foot prussics on the rope by taking the central loop and feeding the foot ends through it three times. Then clean the knot up so that you can see all the loops and test it to make sure that it binds when you pull down. Finally, put the loops in your pocket.
your harness prosthetics on the rope. If you're the middle tie-in, make sure this is on the other side of the butterfly knot from the foot prosthetics. Make three loops, clean up your knot, and make sure that it binds when you apply pressure. Finally, fasten it to your belay loop using a locking carabiner. Lock the carabiner and test the gate. For the end tie-in, make sure that you put your harness prusik on the rope above the foot prusik. The rule is feet first. When you fasten it to the rope, attach it using a locking carabiner, lock the gate, and test it a few times. Take your hero loop and shorten it, perhaps by winding it around itself and then threading one end through another to make a spiral. Then fasten it on the locking carabiner with your pulley and attach it to your gear loop. Secure your belay device with another locking carabiner on a gear loop. Add yet another locking carabiner onto your gear loop. Find two single runners and shorten them. Use a conventional daisy chain or a lobster tail daisy chain as in this example. After you shorten your runners, put them on a non-locking carabiner and make sure the tails are short, then clip them on a gear loop. Shorten your double runner the same way. Then shorten the tail and attach it to another gear loop. Finally, take your final single runner and use a girth hitch to secure it to your PAX haul loop. Then use a non-locking carabiner to fasten it somewhere on your pack. I like to fasten it to my backpack's lower strap 